welcome back to my channel. I want to thank Staples for sponsoring today's video. The thing we're doing in today's video is just a little haul for Carter. I cannot believe he's going into first grade this year and I just recently got his school supply list. Comment below and let me know what grade your kids are going into and when they start. I know a lot of people started already but we don't start until next week and I just can't even get over it because first grade feels so much older than like kindergarten to me. Like first grade is like I don't know, it's getting so big, I can't even believe it, but let's get you ready for back to school with staples. I love that I was just able to order all of this online, it just makes my life so much easier. So let's get you ready for back to school with staples. You can save on all of your favorite essentials and head back to school with confidence. Staples.com is a great value with competitive prices and staples rewards. You get low prices on all items you need the most for back to school. Staples.com makes it easier to shop back to school. Staples has made it easier to get exactly what you need with a few ways to shop. So you can do a free delivery with no minimum with Staples Rewards Program. Get what you need wherever you're working, teaching, or learning. You can buy online and pick up in store as well. You can see here, staples.com has a great selection. This includes a brand assortment of the top quality products and the best brands on trend and exclusive products. Like I mentioned, I love Staples for my back to school needs because I was able to just get everything online look at the list in hand from Carter's teacher and literally just purchase exactly what I needed all while just sitting on my computer. Everything is super affordable and they have a great selection and I just love to shop online because like I said, having the list right there, not having to search through the aisles and kind of see what assortment of products they have and then pick from there is why I choose to shop online. Plus I have four kids so shopping online is where it's at. So again, let's get you ready for school. Everything will be linked down in the description box below to shop at staples.com slash back to school. Now that I went through everything and checked off of Carter's back to school supply list, I'm just kind of organizing things, putting them into a little bag for what he needs for both his regular class and his art class. And I also just, you can see the glimpse of the cork boards and all of the beautiful crafts. I'm also gonna be clearing that off a little bit later in the video just to get ready for some new crafts for the new school year. Carter is starting first grade, like I mentioned. Tanner and Ella will both be in preschool this year, three days a week. So everything is all organized and ready for back to school. I will be labeling some things. I wanted to show you though, I cleared out these two drawers. They just had like memory books and stuff in there that I added to their keepsake bins in the basement. This is just like a little, what they call a homework helper. You can put stuff inside of it. It has like the little pillow on the bottom. So I'm just making Carter a little homework station with some pencils, glue, scissors, and erasers. And then I was going to initially add crowns. You saw those little um, organizers here. I'm putting couple organizers in here and I was going to add crowns to them but then I was like I'm just going to organize what we already have for the crowns since it's working and that may seem really extra to organize crowns by color but Carter is just like me he likes things to be like nice and organized so that he can concentrate on his work so it literally took barely five minutes to organize all the crowns and you know they could get messy again but Carter usually does a pretty good job of keeping them in order. So I just wound up adding extra pencils, erasers to here so if they need them for school they can just grab out of here our extra folders and notebooks. So it's basically like a little overstock. And then here's the crowns that I was talking about. I'm just going to go ahead and organize them and you know it just makes life easier. Let me know if you can relate to this at all. It might just be me but sometimes when my mom had off from work and I got home from school she would have the house completely clean or she'd have my toys organized and it made me feel refreshed when, when I came home and maybe that's why I am the way that I am but it also made me like want to play with my toys so like when I have all these crowns organized I notice that the kids want to color more it's just the way that some people work I don't know if you can relate or if your kids are like that but something simple did you ever hear that quote that pertains to broken crowns still color, which you can apply to many things in life? Well, we save our broken crowns and we melt them down into molds to make new crowns. This, I don't know if you remember this from the old house, was a little file 
keeper and I decided to put it on the back of the um, little craft closet door so that I can keep their stuff in because there's lots of school calendars and you know just little things that they each get from school each year so that they can all have their own little spot and then now I'm just going to cut out um, Carter's name to place on his things. So I put his name on his, this is like his art portfolio that he needed for art class and his pencil case. I did wind up putting a little bit of lemon essential oil on the pencil case because it really gets off like any stuck on residue. It's just a nice little tip for you. Um, it's kind of like just the kind of stuff that gets all the goo off, but it's just lemon essential oil. So I use that for this. So this is my first year where Carter actually needs like a ton of supplies for school. Usually like you just show up for school for what I'm used to. Like we would have to bring in wipes sometimes or things like that. But this time he has Clorox wipes, he has um, tissues and all kinds of supplies for school. And I'm just wondering like how is one supposed to bring all of these to school? I don't know. I haven't heard from the teachers yet or anything. He starts next week and I still don't know who his teacher is. But supposedly we're going to find that information out soon. I know that a lot of schools are still trying to figure things out, which is understandable, but I think I'm more nervous than he is. I would never let him know that, though, because I want him to be calm and confident when starting school. And then I just downloaded these for the teachers. They're just little printables. I'm going to put little gift cards in here for coffee. So I just went ahead and clipped them on that little file folder that I was talking about since I don't know their teacher's names yet. I can't fill them out yet, but they're all ready to go, which is such a relief. Now I just need to grab them some gift cards. And I know I'm going to love this file thing. One, because it's like closed and out of the way, but I just realized that I never do well with a giant command station. I feel like it feels overwhelming at times, so I kind of like this setup. I have my calendar in the kitchen on the wall, my little acrylic calendar, and then I have that over there. But now I wanted to share, which I have shared this in the past as well, one of our really easy go-to crock pot meals because this is truly a dump and go meal. So if you're busy in the morning and have a busy evening with school and you just want to throw something in the crock pot to be ready for dinner, you just throw in some chicken breast. I'm doing salt, pepper, garlic, and onion, and then I'm just going to top it with a little bit of ranch seasoning packet, some um, green beans and potatoes. It's literally that easy. Everybody always asks if you add liquid to it because it doesn't seem like it should cook. Like It's like there's no liquid in here. How is it going to cook properly? But it cooks perfectly. There's no liquid needed. So you are going to put that on high for four hours or low for eight hours. comes out perfect every time. Um, the reason that I added like salt, pepper, garlic, and a little bit of butter on top this time is just to like elevate it a little bit more, um, give it a little bit more flavor. But in the past, I have used just an entire ranch packet, so you can do that as well. Kept it up right till the morning, a new kind of ecstasy. You found a different side of me, the one I'd like to be. So now I'm headed upstairs and I'm just decluttering all of the kids' clothes. I can't even believe that I wound up getting three full garbage bags of clothes from all of them. I had been like saving their winter stuff in the closet just to see what would fit them for this season and they've truly grown so much that not a lot fits them. 
so I don't mind um, donating all of these clothes. A lot of people are like, well, can't Carter give Tanner his um, hand-me-downs and can't Ella give Everly her hand-me-downs? And the truth is I like getting them a lot of matching outfits and they don't match all the time because now they pick out their own outfits at this age, Carter and Tanner. Um, it's just Ella picks out her own outfits too. Who am I kidding? Um, but yeah, I, I like to get them new clothes for the school year. I always got hand-me-downs and that's perfectly fine too, but I guess since I have two boys and two girls, they do wind up matching a lot. And yeah, so that's why. And I, I will say like a lot of clothes, unfortunately, um, I have to get rid of because of the stains on them. And my kids just like really stain things up. But yeah, three bags of clothes to donate. So I was happy with that. I definitely recommend doing this before going school shopping because you can kind of just see what you need. Um, if I would have done this blindly, I would have gotten them a lot more pants and a lot more shirts than they need it. But now I realize they just need more sweaters and long sleeve stuff and more sweatpants. They're good on jeans. Now the boys room is done. I also went ahead and just decluttered and organized their pajamas too, but I didn't film it. They do need a couple more pajamas because there's definitely pajamas that we can get rid of that they're attached to, but I feel like... If they come and pick out pajamas with me, they'll be okay with getting rid of some of them. Um, but yeah, some are just getting a little bit too small on them. Where do you guys shop for your kids' pajamas and your clothes? I'm always looking for new places. But now we're in Ella's room, and there's a couple things in here that are like brand new that she's barely ever worn. So I'm just moving them to the front of the closet for, to be foreverly because they're already too small on her. So I do save some things, like especially new stuff. Um, but I'm actually, I have an appointment for somebody to come and look at our closets this week. I'm excited because I really wanna have, you guys have seen me show this before, but I wanna have the closets kind of like split in half. So like one side is for Tanner, one side's for Carter. And the next closet, one side's for Ella, one side's for Everly with like a couple drawers in the middle. I think that'll be perfect for these closets. So I will definitely keep you updated on that process. You'll find a different side of me, the one I'd like to be. A different side of me, yeah. So I never really understood this before coming, becoming a girl mom, but um, the accessories are real. The bows, there's so many bows and headbands and she truly does wear all of them. Bracelets, all of it. So I'm just going ahead and organizing all of that because this will make it easier for school mornings. Also kind of just see all what you have, but you're gonna see me organize her bows and the point of that is that in the mornings it truly does save time and just make it easier especially like when you're doing pigtails with matching bows so it's not all unnecessary it all works out Everly like still wears soft headbands here and there. It's so funny though because Ella always had a headband in her hair because she was my first girl. And then with Everly, I'm like, ah, it's fine. She can wear a bow for like a picture and then we'll take it off. So hopefully she lets me put bows in her hair when she's older. I'm sure she will because she's going to want to be, you know, doing whatever her big sister does. But once Evie gets some hair, they will be sharing these bows. Thank you. 
now that her bows and accessories are all organized I'm just gonna go through and declutter her drawers there's a lot of stuff that she either will not wear which I can relate to when I was a little girl there are certain things I said were itchy and uncomfortable my mom can vouch for that so if she's never gonna let me put them on her I'm going to donate them so that's what I wound up doing with a lot of this stuff in here and there are some things that just she got for gifts that were way too big on her way too small and just needed some good decluttering in here So this is everything I got rid of for her and then I did also declutter Everly's drawers I didn't record that um, just because I was in a rush um, because it was getting to be late and I had to get the kids ready for bed but I usually make my bed first thing in the morning but I had to take the girls to their checkup this morning so I am making it it's around 6 15 at night and I'm just now making my bed because even if I'm going to sleep I still like getting into a freshly made bed I don't know if you can relate to that but I do Back downstairs, I'm kind of just catching up on my chores from the day. I'm unloading the dishwasher. Again, we had a busy morning. Um, so I'm just unloading the dishwasher and then I'm gonna check on dinner and all of that. Right, dishwasher is unloaded dinner is delicious after that um, after dinner after getting the kids done and everything I'm headed back into the office to take down all of that artwork on the cork boards just so that I don't upset the kids I do save a lot of stuff in their keepsake boxes in the basement um, but some stuff is just like okay you're, I know your teacher made this so I'm just gonna throw it away <laughs> back to the your teacher made it comment like if it doesn't have like the kids answering questions on it or something like that I will just toss it because it's really hard to figure out what to keep and what to throw away I know you guys can relate to this but if I were to save every single thing that they did I would not have a basement so you have to kind of pick and choose what you want to keep throughout the years now I am cutting out their names to put on top of their cork boards and I said to Chris I was like why does this make me so happy but you guys know I always say that whenever I have like all four of their names together or all four of their outfits picked out together or all of their shoes together I just feel extra blessed in those moments 
but I just love how this all came out. And last but not least, I'm just steaming their first day of school outfits. And this was just a relief to have done because there's so many anxious feelings and excitement, all of that about starting school. I just love having everything prepared that I can have so that we can all be nice and calm and just enjoy. So I'm just steaming their outfits. How cute is this dress that I got? Ella has her initials on it and then the boys have their name on it. I feel like this is 100% the last year then I'm gonna be able to pick out Carter's first day of school outfit. I mean, this might be the last outfit he lets me pick out for him for school in general, but I thought it was really, really cute. Um, I just love anything custom or monogrammed, but I have this one for Carter, and then I got the same one for Tanner, just their name and their pencil, and then their teachers can't forget their name on the first day. <laughs> So I really hope that this video just gave you some motivation to go ahead and get everything prepared for the new school year and all of it. Just any kind of motivation, I'm here for you. I'm trying to motivate myself by motivating you. It definitely works in that way. But thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and be sure to check out Staples. Go to staples.com slash back to school. Again, I'll have everything linked down in my description box below. But thanks again, Staples, for sponsoring today's video. Notice.